come a long way from wanting to be the fairest of them all. Her evolution is a coming-of-age story if we've ever seen one. Watch until the end to see the villainous princess transform into her awesome and super fashionable self. Evie was born and raised on the Isle of the Lost. Her mother, the evil queen, taught her that there was nothing more important than being the fairest of them all, so she grew up under the notion that beauty came before personality. Despite the odds, Evie was born with a golden heart and a handful of virtuous talents. The Blueberry Princess is a gifted chemist and an exceptional fashion designer. In fact, she's the genius who makes outfits for many of the VKs in her hometown. Some would even go as far as calling her a fashion icon in the making. Unlike many villains, Evie's not the one to lash out for no reason so she's often regarded as one of the most pleasant VKs to be around. Although she was raised to be cruel, unjust, and wicked, Evie chose to forego her mother's expectations. But that didn't stop her from being a little wicked, to say the least. For as long as she could remember, Evie secretly longed for a different life. You know, the one that involved castles and princes and happily ever afters? So when Maleficent announced that she had been chosen alongside Mal, Jay, and Carlos to attend Aradon Prep, she was over the moon. However, she knew better than to broadcast her excitement, so she kept her feelings to herself. But she wouldn't be doing that for too long. Without Evie, our favorite VK group just wouldn't be the same. She's giddy, spontaneous, and optimistic, so she can easily put a smile on her friends' faces whenever their morals are low. But believe it or not, there are some things that Evie isn't good at, and mainly that staying true to herself. Evie's charisma isn't hard to miss. Still, she's a crowd pleaser who doesn't usually speak her mind. This character flaw was clearly showcased when Doug brought Mal and Evie to their dorm room. In this scene, we see an awestruck Evie gazing at her new living quarters. However, when Mal expresses her hatred for it, Evie agrees with her despite really liking it. This place is so amazing. Gross. I know, right? Amazingly gross. Learning how to embrace her true self plays a big hand in Evie's evolution. Being raised by the evil queen ensured that Evie would grow up to be shallow and entitled, but her bubble was burst when she met Audrey for the first time. Audrey was quick to dismiss Evie's princess status, reminding her that her mother had been stripped of her titles. This revolution worried Evie for more reasons than one, a popular one being that she desperately wanted to marry a charming prince and live in a castle. As time went on though, Evie soon began to realize that just because someone looks good on the surface doesn't mean that they aren't rotten to the core. Anyone who knows Evie knows that beauty is everything to her. With this in mind, we weren't surprised to see how obsessed she was with her looks throughout the first Descendants film. Evie's dark blue locks are her trademark, and her favorite accessory is her crown. The princess's outfits stand out amongst the rest of her crew, but that's to be expected. We mean, why would she give her best outfits to other people? She's got a reputation to protect after all. In Descendants, Evie is seen wearing a jacket poncho hybrid. It's made out of dark blue leather and is fashioned with a belt. She also wears a pair of black graffiti tights and a matching skirt. She looks like a total rock star. Evie's also wearing her famous red locket and a pair of high-heeled boots. She's sporting her mother's colors, and it's not hard to see that Evie is the fairest of them all. But that doesn't stop her from worrying about her status every now and then. Before leaving to art on prep, her mother gives her what's left of her magic mirror. Its last remaining powers can only point her in the direction of what she seeks. But since it's Mal, Evie, Carlos, and Jay's mission to steal the fairy godmother's wand, it'll do just fine. Much like her personality, Evie's style evolves as she starts embracing who she is deep down. Just wait until you see how different she looks in Descendants 2. One of Evie's brilliant powers is being able to brew potions like there's no tomorrow. She's an expert in chemistry and is highly intelligent despite pretending not to be. Evie learns a lot during her first year at Aradon Prep, but mainly she learns that she doesn't need a prince to make her dreams come true. At first, all Evie wants is to date Prince Charming and become the princess she's meant to be, but she soon realizes that Chad Charming is a full-time doofus and part-time bully. 
Chad tries to get Evie expelled by revealing her magic mirror to the teacher. Luckily, Doug comes to the rescue and stops her from getting the boot. It's here that we learn that Evie isn't the pushover we thought she was. Despite her dream, she hangs Chad out to dry and reveals just how much self-respect she's got in the bag. She stops pursuing Chad and begins falling for Doug, who's been nothing but sweet and supportive. Sure, he might not be a prince, but he's her knight in shining armor. During this time, Evie also realizes that she wants to be good, so she starts speaking up for herself and vibing to a different frequency. By the end of the first film, Evie has already transformed into a strong and independent villain, but that's nothing compared to how much she evolves from Descendants 2. It's hard to recognize Evie from Descendants 2. This is due to her acting like a completely different person. Whereas she used to be shy, reserved, and vain, she's now outspoken and in tune with who she is on the inside. Her boyfriend Doug has a lot to do with her transformation, but in the end, all he had to do was give her a push in the right direction. Evie starts her fashion line, Evie's Four Hearts, in Descendants 2. And she uses her newest vocation to help others look and feel as good on the outside as they do on the inside. Evie has become her own person and she's put her mother's lessons on the back burner. She's truly embraced life at Aradon Prep and doesn't miss the way things used to be. Unlike Mal, Evie isn't compelled to use magic to her advantage. Instead, she makes her dreams come true on her own. So with her new personality in place, she starts to scold Mal for using her mother's spellbook and she encourages her to donate it to the museum. It belongs in the museum along with my mirror. Don't give me the face. Evie's finally who and where she wants to be. Unfortunately, trouble comes knocking and changes the course of her picture-perfect year. Many issues are thrown Evie's way throughout the second Descendants film. However, some could argue that they weren't of her own making. Evie and Mal are super close friends, so anything that happens to her directly affects Evie as well. Despite trying to encourage her bestie to stop using spells, Mal's magical endeavors eventually backfired, sending her running to the Isle of the Lost. When Evie, Jay, and Carlos found out that their pal was missing, they were hot on her trail. Evie dropped everything she was doing to go help her friend, putting herself at risk in the process. That doesn't sound like something a villain would do, now does it? At this point, Evie is in a happy relationship with Doug, and she wants the same for Mal and Ben. So she accompanies him to the Isle of the Lost with hopes of bringing Mal back to Aradon. Unfortunately, things don't go as planned and Ben gets kidnapped. Coincidentally, this event had to occur to make Mal realize that she truly loves Ben and wants to live in Aradon. Evie put everything on the line to save her friends, cutting herself free from her roots in the process. Although Evie used to be selfish, it's pretty obvious that she's completely changed her ways come Descendants 2. Move over Leather Poncho and make way for Evie's newest outfit. The Evil Queen's daughter looks even more stunning in Descendants 2 than she did in the original. Her wavy locks have been straightened out and a gorgeous braid frames her face. In case you were wondering, this is what a happy and confident villain looks like. Evie's still rocking the dark blue look, but she's added some individuality to her outfit. Her red heart patching gloves reflect her incredible new personality. They tell us that the princess now wears her heart on her sleeve. She hasn't ditched the leather look just yet, but she clearly has a newfound love for bedazzling everything she sees. Studs and jewels line her leather jacket dress, making her look like royalty. It's obvious that it is not the same girl we were introduced to in the previous Descendants film. She's evolved so much in so little time and she's not afraid to show it. With Doug's help, she's been selling her designs to the people of Aradon and she's living her version of a fairy tale. It's hard to believe that her D3 outfit is even better than the one we're looking at now, but it totally is. So keep watching to see her latest look. When we are first introduced to Evie, she's quick to side with Mal no matter what she says. But that's not the Evie we've come face to face with in Descendants 2. The new and improved Evie speaks her mind and doesn't let her best friend influence her decisions. Evie's right where she's meant to be, but she can't stop thinking about someone who's stuck where she doesn't belong. Evie reunites with her old friend Dizzy while rescuing Ben from the Isle of the Lost. The young hairdresser designer is the very opposite of a villain. Dizzy's biggest wish is to follow in Evie's footsteps. So, being the selfless and considerate person she's grown to become, Evie convinces Ben to invite Dizzy to Aradon Prep. 
At this point, it's clear that helping others makes Evie happy. So in other words, she's become a total hero. After returning to art on prep, Evie is met by a frazzled Doug. He's obviously been freaking out over the fact that Evie didn't come home the night before. He accuses her of seeing someone else, to which she replies, Don't be too. Doug's anxieties immediately dissolve, proving just how solid their relationship is. By the end of Descendants 2, Evie's transformation has come full circle, yet somehow her evolution is far from over. Descendants fans fear that the franchise is coming to a close after its second installment. But Disney Channel has announced that Descendants 3 is in production. Actress Sophia Carson is reprising her role as Evie, and we can't wait to see what she has in store for us. They paved the path for us by releasing the short movie trailer, Under the Sea, and fans were quick to point out that Evie was nowhere to be seen. So they were definitely relieved to see her putting up her sword in the official D3 trailer. The threequel is set to air in 2019. Evie's already such an accomplished character that it's hard to imagine how her transformation will continue. With this in mind, Sophia shared what she hopes will happen to Evie with her fans. According to the actress, Evie is the nicest of the four BKs, so she'd love to get to know her wicked side. Fans are holding out on the possibility that Evie will turn evil in the threequel, but that's a story for another day. Evie is seen fighting her way through the movie trailer, so we can expect to see her ferocious side at the least. Evie's no stranger when it comes to powers and abilities, however many of us were left wondering if she possessed any magics of her own. While she had access to a magic mirror and an all-powerful mother in the past, Evie isn't one to play around with spells of any kind. It's old news that Evie has a knack for chemistry and science, so by default, she knows how to make a good potion. Nevertheless, it looks like Evie didn't inherit her mother's sorcery, which is a good thing depending on where you're standing. All in all, it looks like Evie's talents end and begin with the fashion industry. When I look at you, all I can think of is king and fake fur. Mm -hmm. She's creative, nifty, and resourceful, so that's a plus. If we take the animated short series Descendants, Wicked World, into account though, we find out that Evie isn't magicless after all. In the series, Evie possesses the ability to cast spells alongside Mal, so perhaps we will see their combined abilities save the day in Descendants 3. When it comes to powers, Evie still has a long way to go, so we're curious to find out if she'll evolve in this department as well. Descendants fans lost it when the Disney Channel revealed Evie's new look, and well, that's probably because it's downright stunning. Evie has always been the VK to watch when it comes to style, and let's just say that her D3 look doesn't disappoint. Evie's style has always been heavy on the blue and light on the red. But this time around, the princess is embracing some new colors. Evie is wearing a cropped leather jacket that is equal parts white, blue, red, and black. She's wearing a pleated skirt, black tights, and combat boots too. Evie seems to be in warrior mode, which is fitting given the trailer's contents. Once again, her hair has changed drastically, but not in a bad way. Evie's hair is now the bluest it's ever been, and the color does wonders to her complexion. She truly looks like the fairest of them all. Her hair is longer than ever and slightly curled at the tips. And to top it all off, she's wearing a ruby encrusted tiara. From the looks of it, Evie is embracing a new side of herself and leaving the all blue look in the past. What do you guys think about this transformation? Sound off in the comments below. All in all, it's easy to see why Evie is a fan favorite. The princess went from being a shallow and self-absorbed villain to a sweet and selfless hero in a short amount of time. Deep down, Evie Evie's always known who she's wanted to be, but her mother's lessons led her to believe that being rotten to the core was the only way to go. Once she was given the chance to create her own identity, she chose to follow her heart instead of her mother's orders. For the first time in her life, she realized that good people were worth protecting, so she faced the evil queen and many other VKs to do what was right. Evie's transformation is beautiful on the inside and out. She set aside her vanity and created a business that helps others look their best. She realized that there was no such thing as the perfect prince, but there was such a thing as the perfect boyfriend. You were pretty great in there. So are you. <laughs> I bet. 
I can get an A on the next test without the mirror. Doug came to her defense in her time of need, making her want to do the same for others. Evie's transformation defies all odds, making it even more remarkable. So which one of her looks was your favorite? Let us know in the comments below. And that's a wrap. Give this video a big thumbs up if you're excited to watch Descendants 3. And don't forget to subscribe to The Things for more videos like this one. Thanks for watching and see you next time.